Now, as they prepared to vote for a resolution of contempt against Attorney General Bill Barr, Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee revealed themselves once again. It's a depressing and yet very illuminating spectacle for our country to see elected officials acting like meth dealers. Because after relentlessly pushing Russian collusion for two years, they were finally busted. No collusion and no obstruction. But Democrats refused to accept reality, and instead they continued to sell their poison to scandal addicts on the left. The collusion part of the Mueller report recounts the constant interaction of Trump operatives with Russian adversaries. If you think there's no collusion and no obstruction, you haven't read the Mueller report. Mr. Trump gets on the telephone with Mr. Putin and has a 90-minute conversation or something like that where he can see on a phone call that he smiled at him. That's your leader, the commander in cheat. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to win the presidency with that line. Now, to keep the high going, Democrats hold out Bill Barr, two-time attorney general, as their new nemesis. And then they create a phony conflict that's focused on a narrow set of redactions in the Mueller report and on Barr's refusal to testify again on the Hill after Democrats changed the rules for his questioning. This is all part of a cover-up. We have lawful responsibilities, constitutional responsibilities <laughs> to, uh, to engage in, one of which is possibly impeachment. How can we impeach without getting the documents? And so I ask my colleagues on the other side to stop obfuscating. That is a very hard word to say. That's not fair. All right. Barr was never legally required to release the full report to Congress. We forget that. Nor is he legally allowed to release certain redacted parts of it. And the Democrats know this. Now, most of them on the committee are lawyers. Well, maybe they passed a different type of bar exam. I don't know. Barr has been over backwards in an effort to accommodate Democrats and to be transparent. But none of that matters. Because this is all theater. It's all choreography. It's wrapped up in a bogus concern about congressional oversight. This obstruction means the end of congressional oversight. We're afraid of the loss of the power of Congress to be an independent and co-equal branch of government. I liked him better with the, you know, the chicken, when he was holding the chicken. Now, Democrats have all they need to do their constitutional oversight. Mueller spent two years and $30 million producing the report. So if the Democrats really want to impeach the president, they should convene hearings tomorrow. Democrats have been given the option by the DOJ to read everything but a very minimally redacted copy of the Mueller report. But guess what? None of them have actually gone to review it or read it over at the DOJ. Tells you all you need to know. But after winning their majority in November, Democrats remember Democrats promising results and focus. Democrats pledge, again, a new majority hour for the people agenda. Lower health care costs, lower prescription drugs, bigger paychecks, building the infrastructure, uh, clean up corruption to make America work for the American in people's interest, not the special interest. But what do they have to show the American people? Nothing. I think it was uh, maybe the ranking member said we should be doing legislation and how many signatures, how many bills have been signed into law by this committee? Well, ask Mitch McConnell, who has declared that the Senate is a graveyard for all legislation that comes from the House. We have passed outstanding legislation out of this committee. It's gone to the graveyard. Mm, more excuses, more blame shifting from Chicken Man, more Russia hysteria. No attempt to work with Republicans on the border crisis or much of anything. Now, they may have voted to hold the attorney general in contempt today, but what they really did is to hold you, the American people, in contempt. Savvier than Democrats obviously think they are, I think most working people, they just want government to function properly and to stay out of their lives. And if two recent polls are any indication, the American people are letting the Democrats know where they stand. 
on the economy? A recent CNN poll showed that 56% of Americans approved of the president's handling of the economy. That's a new high. And the most recent Gallup poll conducted almost entirely in the weeks following the Mueller report showed that Trump is enjoying his highest approval yet in their survey at 46%. At the same time in his presidency, well, Barack Obama was at 44%. I seem to remember that he actually won re his, his re-election. So what's the real motivation here on the part of the Democrats? Congressman Jordan nailed it today. I don't think today's actually about getting information. I don't think it's about getting the unredacted Mueller report. I don't think last week's hearing was actually about having staff question the attorney general. It's all about trying to destroy Bill Barr because Democrats are nervous. He's going to get to the bottom of everything. He's going to find out how and why this investigation started in the first place. What can be done to a president can be done to any of us. And this committee is supposed to look out for that fundamental fact more than anything else. And we are not doing that today. Exactly right. And given Congress's, Congress's most recent approval numbers, I'd say the American people have held them in contempt for a long, long time. And that's the angle.